Hi guys, it's Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I'm doing a video with my best friend, Sister G. Hi, guys. I have Hello, actually done. Lone Foxians. Ooh, <laughs> Lone Foxians. That's an awful name. You shouldn't call them that. <laughs> Um, I've actually done two videos with you in the past. Yes. Uh, well, kind of. I did like a room makeover in your house and then I did like a DIY quilt on your bed. Yes. And those videos did so well. Um, we also did so, the Instagram selfie tips on your old YouTube channel. Oh, on my second, yeah, on my, not my second channel, my older channel. I actually like making stuff for James's house. He has a really great, like, minimal aesthetic house. If you have not seen his house tour, you guys really need to. But today, we are doing a DIY challenge, 100% inspired by Laura DIY. Love her. Love her. Love her channel. She does these DIY challenges, and I thought it would be fun to take her play on it and do it with someone else. But on top of that, we are going to be grabbing out of a hat three materials that we actually have to include in the DIY project. And yeah. it's just like random materials. You can kind of see an array of them up here, right here. It's like and basically like chopped, but like with yes, DIYs. With DIYs, exactly. Like three little random materials and Ex use them. Yes, exactly. And there's also gonna be a base that we're gonna be starting off with, which is this. What? A wooden little tray box. I don't know. I thought it was very generic and basic and like we need something to start off with. We can't just make something out of this. I mean, we could, but I thought this was a nice starting point, you know? What? <laughs> no. I but then I also wanted to grab something that was very like James, you know, to like also add. Okay. So this is a second little thing you can add and that is a mirror because I know you like to look at yourself, mom. <laughs> And these, I don't know how you're gonna use it, but I thought that I would grab two and they can fit inside or you can do whatever you want with them. So these are gonna be like our two items that are given to us. And then there's gonna be three random that we're gonna pick out of this hat. And before we pick the items out of the hat, if you guys have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new videos every single week on DIY and home decor. They're so good. You can go check out James's channel too if you haven't seen it. He does makeup videos, really fun entertainment videos. Let's just pick out these good and fresh and fun items. Do I get to go first? You can go first. Let's do one each. Okay. We'll jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. And jiggle them up. Should I open it on? Yeah. Duct, duct tape. tape. That's oh. like a bad one. That's, a, That's bad. a bad one. Wait, you don't did, even have duct tape up here. No, no, I do. Oh, did it fall off the desk? I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Paint. Oh, I got paint. This challenge is already rigged and canceled. Just letting everybody know. It is not rigged, I swear. Oops. I hope you get another bad one. I you can get pipe up. cleaners. That's a really bad one. <gasps> pipe cleaners! <laughs> I'm gonna win my own challenge! I got popsicle sticks! <laughs> and one more. That. Yarn. Okay, I'm yarn, okay with that. Yeah, yarn's That's a good okay. one. You can figure out something to do with that. Oh, Lewis found the duct tape! Oh, Here you go, thank James. God. You'll be using that. I won't be using that, so you can have it. <laughs> I got clothespins, so I have to do with the popsicle. <laughs> and there's no time limit. We're just gonna make something chit chat a lot. I have a time limit. I need to go. And this is kind of just like a fun video, you know? Like who knows what we're gonna come up with? But yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'll get it off for you. Oh, that's like no, look disgusting. It's satisfying when it pulls okay. all the way off. Okay. I think I have I just an stuck idea. it under your desk so you can find it later. <laughs> Ew, what are you doing? Well, since you got paint, we are only allowed to use our three items that we <laughs> got, plus one additional like bonus item that we want to use from the mixture. I think this looks beautiful. Shoot. Well, I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I'm gonna talk to my this is very like urban outfitter so far, you know? Wow, I'm so professional. I'm trying to see if I can come up with like some pattern or something to like put on this. I like your train of thought, Drew Scott. Oh, that kind of rhymes. So Drew, how is life as a DIY channel? It's actually so fun. If you guys don't know, I film like almost all my projects at James's house. Because his house is so nice to film in. I have like a small apartment, so I'm still not sure what I'm doing. So there's that. Here are the little hookity wookity woos. Oh. Yeah, I am good. <laughs> I think no, absolutely not. Gosh, I have not even started yet. You're gonna need to slow down, James. I think my additional item, I already picked it, is gonna be this cord, this macrame cord, okay? You already have a plan for yours going into this. I have no plan for it at all. Lies. I clearly don't because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, okay, I have an idea actually, kind oh, of. Suddenly you have an idea. Oh, suddenly I have an idea. Suddenly she's thinking, Lala. Okay, let's flip it over. I'm gonna add some glue here. So just taping away with my duct tape, my favorite item that I got. That's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna actually do two of these, so I'm gonna cut a little section off. What are you doing, Drew? <sighs> You'll have to find out. 
sauce. Do you see my that. side of this workstation compared to yours? <laughs> yeah. James, do you feel like DIYing is similar to makeup in any way? Uh, I guess it's creative. Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's kind of like you have to plan it out. You have to get all the supplies you need and then you have to do it. <laughs> like everything else in the world. <laughs> well, I do feel like it's like definitely a creative outlet and it's really cool to like take something and they make it into something else. I know, that's the most fun part. Even if it's like not practical, it's just fun making it, you know? Look at, like, this, look at this good little envelope fold that I just made, like I'm wrapping a present. I know, oh. I saw that, that looks amazing. What's the good question? What's my favorite DIY project I've ever done? Is it the one in your kitchen right now, that little island thingy by your round table? What's my favorite one that you've ever done? Yeah. Oh, um. Cause I do them all here, so you've seen a lot of them. I feel like the quilt on my bed, honestly, oh, is my favorite Oh, yeah, one. true, because you actually use that Yeah, like I still use it every day. It looks better than I thought it was going to look. Hey. Because duct tape is hard to use. I'm going to need it to not. Those are disgusting. <laughs> luckily, I got the, luckily, I didn't get the rainbow ones. I got the white and the black. You keep hitting me with my own supplies. You should have picked okay, better so, supplies options. No, I picked good ones. I have my strings across here. That looks disgusting. <sighs> oh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna glue my popsicle stick. Ew! I look disgusting right now. I just gotta go into myself. <sighs> oh, can't relate today. Have you ever DIY'd before this? Like, have you ever, were you ever like one of those like yes. Pinterest Tumblr oh, DIYers? Yes, I was. I feel like I knew you were, but like, I don't know like what you I don't know if you ever actually talked about it. Yeah. Before I was like a beauty blogger, I like was obsessed with like Tumblr and like Pinterest stuff. Literally, there's a video on my old YouTube channel that people just found that's like, my room tour and it's literally all DIYs. Dang. Like geometric shapes and things? Like like little like clay geometric like ring holders and like I have like a um like a uh like a black pipe and like parachute cord clothing rack that was hanging in my room. I will say though I'm not that creative when it comes to coming up with them. Like I'm definitely- Oh, you can person. like recreate that. I, that's how I would make up stuff a lot too. Like I definitely get, people always attack me like, oh my God, you sold this look, you sold this look. And it's like, well, no, I gave credit. And two, like- It's hard to come up with like hard. your own makeup look to start. Like literally my, one of my most asked questions in the whole world is like, how do you come up with your projects? And I will just be like, okay, I'm doing Ikea hacks. And James has seen like, I'll walk through Ikea for like an hour and a half, yeah. like two hours. We've done it together. And, yeah, and just like try to find four different things and think of different ways I'm gonna do it. And you know what? Remember how you told me to do that basketball hoop? Yes. I'm doing it in my next Ikea yeah. <laughs> Take my popsicle stick shelf. How are you gonna get that to stay up there? I have no idea. And uh, what is that gonna even hold? I have no idea. Like what is this little thing supposed to do? I, what am I supposed to do with pipe cleaners? Like kids crafts, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. Like, but like what? It's to like the clean metal straws. Wow. And you got ugly colors of yarn too. Those are not ugly. Those are actually trendy. What? My subscribers will tell you those are trendy. Why does this yarn have little flakes on it? Because it adds texture. Why aren't these popsicle sticks coming off? Can I take a friendship bracelet instead? <laughs> You can make a friendship bracelet and glue it onto your thing. Okay. Okay, so the recording actually stopped randomly. So I created this little shelf, which I think I shared with you guys already. And I cut the ends off one side and I glued it in there. I don't know what James is doing, nor do I care. <sighs> but I should have definitely painted this interior first. Breaking up the shelf. <sighs> or like a tangerine. Tangerine dream. Yeah. Like a little yellow. I'm such a good braider. Me too, I'm better. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I know. You know, I wanted to used to be a hairstylist too. What? Yeah, that's all I wanted to be. Ask my mom. I had so many brass dolls and I would cut their hair and curl it and it <laughs> would melt to the curling iron. <laughs> and my mom would have to buy a new one. Uh, no, I never did it on actual girls ever. Really? So you got me there. Yeah. I'm... Oh, wow. That is a good color. Not my first choice, but okay. Mm, I think the Lone Foxians can say this is a good <gasps> color. <gasps> oh, Ooh. that was the worst noise I ever did here. I know. You know you have one more item you can choose, like a specialty item? I don't want anything. Really? I don't know yet. Has there been a DIY project that you've wanted to do in your house that you haven't been able to do? Like something that you've seen? I'm in this sure. house? Yeah. Uh, or just like any house in general, like any future house? Well, I have literally like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different Pinterest stuff and like boards and different images saved for inspiration for when I build my house. Like, yeah. I'm like ready. Like I literally have every single aspect of it like planned out. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's gonna be like so much fun for me to just like 
bring everything to life. Because like obviously this house I was able to do so many beautiful things with, but like it was already built. Like, yeah, this true. Is, like a finished house. I need a smaller paintbrush to get into the nooks and the crannies. When you do, or when you film your videos, do you ever like listen to music or do you like it silent? Always. Or really? I talk to you guys. Yeah, because oh. I voice them over. So I. Almost all my DIYs are voiceover, so I never really talk when I do When I'm projects. getting ready, I literally, like, I have to get ready in silence. Like, I I am the type of person that, like, cannot work with music on. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I really prefer to get ready in silence. I like to, like, draw in silence. I would always, like, I cannot write, do, like, I could not do any schoolwork ever with music playing. Oh, me neither. Ever. I can't do schoolwork with music playing, but I can definitely DIY with music playing, and I always watch TV when I'm doing DIY. Oh, I was just finessing my way through school because I was homeschooled, so... <laughs> I grade my you own were? assignments. Yeah, I was in high school. I was homeschooled half of ninth, tenth, and eleventh. Wait, so I didn't even know that. Two and a half years. Yeah, because I started my Etsy store. I started the Etsy oh. store with my mom, which, if you guys don't know, my mom has an Etsy store of craft supplies, which I'll link below. Um, Wait, I didn't even know that. Yeah, and I started that Etsy store, and I got way too big, and I wasn't able to go to school and ship all the orders at the same time. So I went. So I moved to being homeschooled, so I can do it all. And then I was in the National Enquirer for making like $100,000 a year at age like 15. Yeah. That's good. Uh, did you see that magazine spread? No. <laughs> Wait, I have to see that. I have to find it. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. oh that's, that's good. good. That's a long handle. That's such a long handle. Oh, hold on, I have a plan. Just showing everyone what I made. <laughs> What's your least favorite DIY project I've ever done? Because I leave a lot of them here there, for yeah, you. There's been some stupid ones. Like which ones? That is so rude. <laughs> they can't all be good. It's true. You know you've had some bad ones. I mean, I've done a lot that I haven't actually shown on my channel. A lot yeah. of projects that I haven't included on my channel. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Now I'm making a braid with... Oh, wow. You are really just a macrame queen. <laughs> so that's going to give it like a luxury feeling. Um, yes. That was the goal. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm applying my little clothespins down here. And look, I even added like a little tangerine accent to the bottom. Oh my god, I'm worried that this isn't going to be long enough. Um, okay. You got far better. You got literally the three best options. I, go, I will admit that I got some good options. Wait. Oh, I was going to say I never used the popsicle sticks, but that's because my shelf broke. You never answered the question of which is my worst DIY project that I've done or the all one that you hated them. the most. All of them. Nuh uh. This one. <laughs> the ones that are in James's house currently that are actually being used are that little circular planter thingy that's hanging from your curtains. Yep, that one's that good. That was really good. That's a good one. Um, The kitchen island is in actual that's James's a good one. kitchen yep. area. It looks so. So good. That's probably one of my favorite ones. That's I've one of your favorite. Done. Yes, I agree. Um, you made some stupid thing a long time ago that's still in my bedroom to this day that you never finished, and I don't know why I haven't thrown it out yet. What is it? It annoys me every time that I look at it. It's like a basket, and there's like command hooks in there. Do you see what I have to do with people? I gift my DIY projects to all my friends always. It's not a gift. A lot of them like them actually. A lot of them are lying to you. <gasps> oh, James, just a reminder that you still have to use the pipe cleaner. Oh, I was supposed to put it inside of the braid. I saw you braiding without the pipe cleaner and I just decided to not tell you. <laughs> Drew, you are getting on my last nerve. Why don't I have to get duct tape? <laughs> duct tape? Duct tape and... Duct tape and... Duct tape and... Duct duct tape. Duck and tape. <laughs> you said ducking again. Duct tape. And pipe cleaners. Yeah, that's disgusting. You picked those ones though. Well, you put them in there. Well, there is another option. Who are some of your favorite DIY channels to watch for inspiration? Um, I love a good Hermione Chantel. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I've never heard of Rachel her. Metz. Love, love Rachel, Rachel Metz. Metz. Rachel Metz oh. has some good ass videos. I know, so good. I was talking to her today. We're filming this week. Oh. I love the Sorry Girls. Yes. They're really good. Love Kelsey their and video. Bucky. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Kate. Of course. Oh. I mean, she's not really a DIY channel. She's more of like a whole like interior home renovation channel, but still she does do some DIY projects every now and then. So love her. And Emily Faith is another one I like. There's just like a, a lot of random girls that I like. What would you even use this for though? By your front door? Yeah, it looks sorry. very like Urban Outfitters that you would buy for your studio apartment. Like, or for you know? your locker. Or your locker, yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, but I want to kind of help you now because I feel like I'm done. Like I don't want to go and overdo it, you know? Because that's when that's when things that's go bad. That's bad. Because yeah. I always try to do my makeup with James. Well, I always try to do eye makeup with James because it's so fun. Because yeah. I love blending the eye makeup. It's literally like painting. Yeah, it's so um, good. And I all yeah, it is. And I do it, and then there's always I always go too far. Like always. it looks so good, and then I'm like I'm gonna go a little further, and then that's what always is happens in my DIY projects. Like I do it, and then it looks so good. I'm like I'm gonna take it one step further, and then it just ends up not working out. I'm gonna try to help you with your pipe cleaner, James. You know what? I, well, I have literally no idea what to do with a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaners are disgusting. They're ugly. Stupid. They're, so, They're ugly. so ugly. That's why I got them. Just a little quick idea. Yeah, I could've, should've, what, uh -huh. Do you have another wooden box? No. Oh. Wooden box? This. <laughs> do I start over? No! She just glue it around the inside edge. No, this looks so stupid. What about if you glue it across the top? Yeah, I think pipe cleaners should be an illegal DIY item. I but that's why I added it because like kind of fun and also kind of fresh. Your project's done! This is the d most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I kind of like it. Do you want it? It doesn't honestly look like bad. This is my finished project. Oh my God. Which is like a nice little like front door studio apartment inside of your locker if you need more additional storage space. Clip on your car keys. Like if you need to go out the door, clip on like a Polaroid of yourself and your boyfriend or girlfriend. And this one could be used for your bills that you have to pay. Are you sad? Yeah, I'm so <laughs> sad. I was destined to lose as soon as I picked up duct tape and pipe cleaners. That's I true, had no that's chance. a challenging one. You literally got the easiest things. No, I didn't. I'm just really talented. You, oh my God, you literally <laughs> got paint, clothes, pens, and popsicle sticks. That's the easiest thing by far that you could have ever picked. All right, guys. So that was our little DIY challenge video. I hope that you enjoyed it. How, James, did you enjoy it <laughs> no, today? I yeah, did you did. Will you be back ever? Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. If you guys would like to follow me, <gasps> oh. you can definitely do so. Subscribe to my channel. I post brand new DIY and home decor videos every single week. And you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lone Fox Home. And my personal is I'm Drew Scott on the screen and you can follow james too if you want to um you probably already are thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more challenge videos definitely give this one a thumbs up and i guess we will see you or i will see you because james will be back for a while i guess in the next one <laughs>